Find the reactions at A and C. The first thing you need to do is draw a free body diagram. The bracket has reaction forces at A in the y direction and in the x direction, and a reaction force at C only in the y direction. You also have the applied load of 750 newtons at the angle with a 345 rate triangle. So those are your points. You also need distances. So this is 400 millimeters, and this is 240 millimeters. Point B doesn't actually do any good for you, and there's no reason to include it. Break your 750 newton load up into components. This is going to be 3 fifths times 750 in the negative J direction, and 4 fifths times 750 in the I direction. Now we can write our sum, our, some of the forces in the x direction, some of the forces in the y direction, and some, some of the moments. In the x direction we have Ax, which is unknown, and 600i from the 750 newton load equals zero. And the sum of the forces in the y direction, we have Ay plus Cy minus 450. Those are your J components. And the sum of the moments, you have to pick where you're going to take the moments about. In this case, the sum of the moments about A, which I will write down, looks like Cy times 400, which is counterclock, spin, spins A counterclockwise, and 450J at 400 millimeters, which tends to spin A counterclockwise, and you also have to include the X component of this 750 newton load because it is acting at a distance of 240 millimeters. That tends to spin A clockwise, so if you moved this 750 newton load in the X component and moved it back along its line of action until it was right above point A, you can see that it will create a moment of 600 times 240 at A. Now that would you could solve to find CY. You can also do the sum of the moments at point C, one, of the other, one or the other. If you do the sum of the moments at point C, you have AY at 400, which tends to spin point C clockwise. AX passes through point C, so it does not create a moment. Similarly, the J component of your 750 load passes through point C, so that does not create a moment. The only moment you have left is the X component of the 750 no newton load at 240 millimeters. So, at point C, you have Ay at 400, and you also have the 600i acting at a distance of 240. Each of these would tend to spin point C clockwise. If you do the moment at point C, you actually only have one, well, you have two terms in your Roman equation. It doesn't matter. You get to pick them. Either one will work. In either case, you can find that Ay is negative 360 newtons, Cy is 810 newtons, and Ax is six, negative 600 newtons. Again, these are the values for the variables I picked. The signs positive or ne negative, determine whether or not I picked the directions on the free body diagram correctly. So, in this case, if you answer the question, the reactions at A are 360 newtons down, 600 newtons left, and the reaction at C is 800 newtons up. Again, three significant digits, units, and directions on all of your forces are required.